Okay, so today I want to do a sort of cultural analysis of True Detective Season 4 from a man's rights perspective because I recently had a misfortune to watch True Detective Season 4 which was feminist garbage, absolutely. It was atrocious, okay? However, one of the many things that makes this season so atrocious is not just the bad writing and the bad conclusion to the mystery and all of that, but also the feminism in it and the blatant man-hate hatred in it, okay? Because you have to understand that the this show was, or the season of this show, was basically telling that women stand above the law and they can torture and murder men however they like, without repercussions, with impunity, without being persecuted from the legal justice system. Okay? They can be let off the hook and get away with ev everything they want. This is what True Detective Season 4 basically says. This is the message of this season okay and everybody who has not seen this season well I, I will spoil it regardless because I think that this season should not be seen by anybody okay so shouldn't really care about spoilers here okay and I will just briefly talk about the, the plot okay because uh, it's it's so bad it's not even funny okay and everybody agrees that this season is lacking in many ways, but a lot of people have not really uh, tackled the core issue, which was the blatant man hatred in this season. Okay. Now, okay, first of all, what is True Detective? The sort of concept. Uh, the True Detective is a show that is sort of a crime, mis mystery thriller type show, and every season has its own self contained story line okay so the first season i watched the first season and i watched this season okay the first season was actually very good very well written and had interesting characters interesting plot was uh, very um was very well written it's widely regarded as a masterpiece even though i could also say that even in season one there were anti-male and misandrist elements especially in the way they portrayed fathers however i think that overall the writing of season one was still very very good but season four was atrocious from every standpoint and even the creator of the show nick palazzo has criticized that okay now what happens in this season uh, basically so this place in alaska and there were there was this research facility in Alaska, um, some geological facility, and there there was this male uh, research team of eight men, okay, and they've been murdered, okay, and these detectives, uh, one of them played by Jodie Foster and the other by Kelly Reese, uh, they they're finding out uh, what is behind the murder of these eight men, okay. And basically, um, these eight scientists have been uh, murdered by women, okay? They have been murdered by uh, indigenous uh, women of Alaska who worked at that research facility uh, in revenge of a girl that, the, that these scientists murdered. And this girl was sort of an environmental activist, like crazy environmental activist, Sort of like this, these uh, just stop oil type eco feminist radicals, right? And they have, and they have sort of uh, murdered that female environmental activist, sort of in response to her breaking into this uh, research facility and destroying the laboratory, the equipment, because she was upset that they were destroying the environment or they were in league with some uh, mining company that was destroying the environment and so on and so forth. And they did this research to find out a cure against cancer or something. It was kind of a convoluted plot, to be honest, but 
anyway. That's not important. The important thing is that so these eight scientists they murdered this this environmentalist, right? And then as an act of revenge and vigilante quote unquote justice, uh, several um, indigenous Alaskan uh, women were murdering these eight men, these eight scientists. And when this scene happened, when this was revealed at the end, right, this was the big reveal of the mystery what actually killed these men, right? It was these indigenous Alaskan women, right? And this, when they showed this scene, this was just cringeworthy because they, they were just storming into this facility with this rock music in the background, right? Making it seem like this was some rebellious act, right? It was like the show celebrated that shit, right? Which shows me that this was just feminist sadism, right? The celebration of, um, of violence against men, basically, okay? And this was also, they, they were also forcing these men to to be naked out in the snow in Alaska, right? Which was is another feminist sadism thing, okay? And the legal justice system never arrested these women for murdering these men, right? They, they got away with this, okay? And also these two detectives, right? They were... Um, also murdering someone, right? In the past, in a past case, they were murdering uh, some some guy who uh, who has uh, killed a woman in, uh, in a domestic violence case, right? And they just murdered him, right? So extra or illegal violence, right? So no arresting, no due process, right? No, nothing like that. So this was just basically showing that the legal justice system is invalid when female violence is uh, is enacted against men. This was basically what the show um, celebrated, right? And tried to justify, right? This this is this is very atrocious. This is this is absolutely atrocious. And also um also, when, for example, these two detectives, um, the one played by Jodie Foster and the other by Kelly Reese, they were investigating investigating that in a research facility and they um, tried to apprehend one of the crime suspects, uh, one scientist named, named Clark, and he was um, then tortured by these detectives, right? So again, was these female detectives torturing a man, right? Just tr straight up torturing the guy um, without necessity, actually. So, and so again, this was sadism, okay? Feminist sadism was promoted by this season, by True Detective Night Country, okay? Feminist sadism and violence against men and the erosion of the criminal justice system, right? The further erosion. Because, uh, for example, right? Let, let me just go scientific on you, right? So, sex differences in the likelihood of arrest, okay? So, controlling for offense seriousness and a variety of other factors, logistic regression results showed that the probability of arrest for females was 28% lower for kidnapping, 38% uh, lower for forcible fondling, 9% lower for simple assault, and 27% lower for intimidation than for males. Okay? So as you can see, the police is very lenient on uh, women, regardless of crime, right? So if a man and woman have committed the same crime, the woman is less likely to get arrested, okay, by the police, okay? Here's also uh, nine out of ten victims of police-related deaths are male, okay? So, again, the criminal justice system is anti-male, 
as hell. And again, True Detective Season 4, instead of being against that, celebrate this, basically. Right? Women can get, can get away with crimes. Meanwhile, men get arrested. But women can get away with everything, right? Here's also a study that many people probably know about, okay, that shows that uh, sentencing length favors women, even controlling for criminal history, stuff like that, all kinds of factors, okay? Um, here's also a study that shows basically the same thing. Are women treated more leniently? Federal courts. Overall, we find that female defendants receive more lenient sentencing outcomes than their male counterparts. Legal factors account for a large portion of the gender differences, but even after controlling for legal characteristics, a substantial gap in sentencing outcomes remains. Okay, And this leads us to statistics like this that show 6 in 10 women sent to prison serve sentences of less than 6 months. Okay. Now, this is atrocious. It shows you that our legal justice system, our criminal justice system is eroding uh, when it comes to female criminals, okay? We have probably a huge amount of female criminals just running around doing crime, never getting arrested, nothing, right? Being out there causing chaos and destruction to society, okay? Meanwhile, the prisons are overfilled with male uh, inmates, right? Some of whom are sitting there innocent in many cases. Yeah. And then we have feminist outlets like The Guardian calling for women's prisons to be closed, right? Which is the exact same message that this atrocious show True Detective Season 4 has, right? Regardless of women committing violence against men, uh, they're not sent to justice, right? This is what the show celebrated. Okay, feminist sadism, female sadism against men, and uh, basically women getting away with crime. Okay, you have also these kinds of opinion pieces that says eight percent of prisoners are women. That's about 8% too many. So, again, same message, right? So, regardless of whether or not women murder men or murder anyone, uh, then this will not be punished, right? They, they will probably only be punished if they murder another woman. And sometimes not even then. But especially if they're murdering men or commit violence against men, they will receive pretty much no punishment or uh, like in this case uh, probation or community service right so this California woman uh, stabbed her boyfriend to death with hundreds of stab wounds right she got out on probation okay this is disgusting and meanwhile this is going on right is sexism to blame for the number of men in prison? The number of men in prison should be radically reduced, says a British Academy team backed by former Lord Chief Justice, writes Glenn Paul. The number of male prisoners in the UK has nearly doubled in 20 years, but the majority should not be in prison, according to a new report from experts at the British Academy. The report argues that the majority of men in prison face challenges or disadvantages of one form or another or have suffered a troubled upbringing and should be transferred from prison into treatment and rehab rehabilitation facilities or given non-custodial sentences. In particular, men with mental disorders, learning difficulties or suffering from drug or alcohol addiction should not be in prison, says the report authors who are backed by Lord Wolf, the former Lord Chief of Justice for England and Wales. And these kinds of uh, explanations are never applied to men, right, with stuff like mental illness and disadvantages, but 
when women are uh, accused of a crime, then all of a sudden these things are brought up like, oh, she had a bad childhood, she is mentally ill. Even in this case, I think they brought up the, the stuff about her being intoxicated. Okay. So, yeah, women can just get away with, with crime. It's, it's, it's that simple. I made a video one year ago basically showing uh, 50 cases where women commit crime and avoid jail, right? All kinds of crime. And yeah, again, True Detective celebrates this. True Detective season four, that it is, okay? Um, yeah, this is disgusting. Absolutely atrocious season four um, feminist garbage. What, what can you say, right? And they also had this constant theme of uh, domestic violence against women but of course they never bring up that domestic violence is at least 50 50 or as many statistics actually show the rate the victim rate is higher for men actually okay so they never bring this this up of course right because a lot of these these type of shows are anti-male it's that simple pretty much all of them right and i can't sort of stomach certain misery in entertainment to some extent but this was just too much okay this was this was way too overboard this was way too overboard right this this was just blatant display of of a celebration of violence against men and sort of feminist sadism right that, that's just what it is. This was True Detective Season 4. The, the message of this Season 4 was women can commit crimes with impunity. Okay? Especially if it's crimes against men. If it's violence against men. Okay? And this is what everybody who reviewed and criticized this Season 4, this is what they kind of missed. Right? They criticized the writing and the plot holes and bad character writing and stuff like that, which is all true, right? And they had also this bullshit sort of uh, supernatural element going on, which was really uh, pointless in the grand scheme of things. In the first season, they also had this a little bit, but it was more subtle and more Lovecraftian and wasn't so blatant, right? But season four kind of had this sort of like the ring girl, uh, going on, which uh, wasn't really going anywhere. But anyway, yeah, this again, this season was uh, very bad. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you want to see more sort of entertainment or media analysis, because this is actually not what I do on my channel, right? So yeah, thanks for watching.